guys, this is Zach from Watches On You, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Nomos Autobahn released at Baselworld 2018. Now, this watch is available in a variety of different dial combinations. I have two of them here. So you can get it in a dark blue with white speedometer style loom, and then you can also get it in a silver dial with white speedometer style loom, and then they make a silver dial with a blue speedometer style loom. So now I'm going to actually just use the blue one for the purposes of this review, but I'd just like to show you the different dial combinations that are available. So let's take this one out of the frame here. So here is the watch up close. And now this watch obviously is one of the most unique looking watches out there, as really no other watches use loom like this piece does, where they make it actually into, they make it a lot larger and actually an aspect of the dial, when typically they're just making loom part of the indices and kind of hiding it in places where so it doesn't intrude. This, they directly made it a main focal point of the dial. But now I'm gonna discuss why this watch is called the Autobahn and how that relates to its styling. So this loom was designed to make, to look like a speedometer on a car, or sorry, not, a, well, actually a speedometer on a car or the rev meter on a car, either one, whichever you prefer to say, I guess. And the, it's called the Autobahn because the Autobahn is, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with it, it is the highway system in Germany where there are no speed limits. And actually one thing I'd like to say about the Autobahn is a lot of people actually don't realize that the Autobahn, a lot of it is actually only like kind of cargo transport only. So semi trucks and things like semis and no actually regular cars but on the regular cars people like to race down the autobahn a lot and you'll get people flying by at 150 miles an hour so it can get a little bit scary but it's also one of the most well-known um kind of i guess engineering uh marvels of germany so moving back to this watch itself so i'm gonna now go over the case so the case is made out of stainless steel and is 41 millimeters in diameter and 10.5 millimeters thick. And actually that thickness is a very, very nice feature because that's very thin, especially for a more sporty watch like this. I think that's a great thickness. And if you're wearing this with a suit or some or a long sleeve shirt, it should not get caught on your cuff whatsoever. Now the case is entirely polished as really almost really all Nomuses are. And that is there is a downside to that is actually i have to wipe it right here and that is the downside you will get fingerprints on this watch a lot because of that polishing now that's nothing on nomos's fault that's just something to know so if you're getting this if you're in kind of more dirt i guess dirty areas maybe this watch isn't the piece for you because it will get fingerprinted up a lot but even though the case is extremely high quality, I like how they made the lugs a bit thicker on this piece than most of their watches. A lot of them tend to be thin bars, and it just makes the watch, again, look a little bit more sporty than a lot of their other pieces. So going back to the dial, I really love how on this dial they, they use a lot of different colors. So you can see that they have a orange subdial seconds hand, and then actually what looks like a center seconds hand with the orange tip there, that is actually the minute hand, and then this bigger one is the hour hand, even though the hour hand looks like a minute, and then the minute looks like a second. So this watch kind of, I guess it like shifts the hands over one step, so you don't get an hour your looking hand, but you get a minute and a second, and then you have your subdial second. So that's one thing to, um, you'd probably, it'd probably take a little bit of getting used to when you actually own this watch, making sure that you realize that that is the minute hand. And one downside about that though is the minute hand does not have loom, so you just have the hour hand, so that could get a little bit annoying at times. Now. Going back to the different colors, I love, on, I personally, this is my favorite dial combination. I love the dark blue and I love the pop of white going around with the loom there. And I think this one just, it's a little bit more unique than the others, even though the um, white with the blue um, loom is also extremely unique. This is my personal favorite as it doesn't get so wild, but it also still gets, it stands out from the crowd for sure. 
Now one other aspect on this case I really love is I love the panoramic date down at 6 o'clock. Not a lot of watches have a panoramic date, but this one does and I really do like that as it just gives the watch a little bit of a nicer look. And I also love how they match the date wheel color to the dial color. A lot of watches do not do that. Even Rolex doesn't do that on all their models. And I mean Rolex is now, they're, they're not trying to, that's just because they're back in history they haven't, so they're doing that on purpose. But a lot of watch companies companies do it just to kind of cheap out this they did change the date wheel color so that is a huge plus in my mind for this piece but now let's turn the watch over and take a look at the movement so the movement is one of Nomos's neomatic movements which are their fairly new almost fully in-house movements that prior to the neomatic most of their movements were made out of primarily um, generic parts and not actually in-house made even though they did have some in-house. So this again, you're getting an in-house movement on this piece as well, which just adds to the um, just kind of benefits of this piece over some other watches at its price point. So now I'm gonna move on to the wrist shot. So on the wrist here, it is very, very comfortable. I mean, they're really, no issues there. It fits base almost really exactly the same as all other Nomos watches as the case is very, very similar. And I love how thin it is. Again, that's, I mean, that's a fantastic thing to have because then you're never going to worry about it getting caught on your shirt. And it also makes it feel very, very good around your wrist as thinner watches typically can conform to your wrist a little bit better. Now, the 41 millimeter size I also like. Sports watches, I believe, should be 40, 41 mil, even down to 38 sometimes I like. I think that's the perfect range in size, so this definitely fits in there. And I have a 7 inch wrist just for reference, so know that if you're considering the size of this watch. And one other thing I like about it is the nylon strap on this watch. It's very, very comfortable. I like how thin it is, and it, it folds to your wrist absolutely perfectly, so there's really no discomfort at all. One other thing I like is how it's not a true NATO, where it actually goes in the spring bars, and the reason I actually prefer that is then it, the strap never goes underneath the watch, making it a lot, of, a lot thicker and a lot of times actually more uncomfortable. Now, it uses also a standard pin buckle clasp. Now, I've had some um, problems taking it off before in the past. It can be a little bit difficult. I don't really know why. That's just what's happened to me before. So let's see if it'll come off this time. Yeah, it kind of gets re-caught in the hole when you take it off. So you have to make sure you flip that back. So here we go. So yeah, the pin buckle on this is a little bit more difficult than a lot of others, but still not a huge issue. You shouldn't, you should probably, you'll probably get used to it after a few days. It's just because I haven't handled that this watch very long. So overall, we're at JB Hudson Jewelers today and I'd like to give you them a thank you for lending us this piece to review. They are an authorized dealer of Nomos and this piece is available here for $4,800. And I think that it, that is, I mean, that's obviously a high price, but being that this is a high qual as high quality as it is, and even has an in-house movement with the finishing that it does, as you can see, it has some beautiful Cote de Genève and Perlage aspects to it as well. I really think that that um, price can be justified, and even though that it is so high, even for a lot of nomoses. But thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Thank you.